Hello everyone, it is January 1st and we are going to get started on all these ambitious goals that we have for the year. You can tell I've still got some raccoon eyes happening from New Year's Eve. Didn't really get to go anywhere but I decided to dress up anyway. Um, so I am working on getting a book ready for publication. So I'm trying to get through the edits and some rewrites in like the last 14 or so chapters. I'm hoping to get that done by the end of January and then hopefully another read through and a bunch of other stuff. So before I start, I do want to get into a good shape for the year. I just noticed that one of my pictures fell down, so I'll have to fix that. However, the first thing I'm going to do is clean this mess of an office because a, it's not very conducive to creativity and it's been a mess since Christmas time just trying to deal with presents and I never really put things away. And then um, I also start back to work on Monday and I'm still working from home because we're still in lockdown. So this is also going to be my day workspace. So I need to make sure that it's clean and conducive to doing that work as well. Um, the other thing I wanna do is I'm gonna set up my new planner and I want to fix my bulletin board for this quarter. Usually I put up my three months of my general stuff that I see coming forward, some inspirational pictures and some covers and things of things that I'm working on. So I'm gonna update that. I'm going to clean my office today and I'm also going to start on chapters for those edits. I'm doing this, well, not really fun little thing. The Sabrina final ep final series episodes came out on Netflix yesterday and I'm really, really excited to watch it. So I've promised myself for every chapter that I complete, I am allowed to watch one episode. There's only eight episodes, so it'll only help me with about eight chapters, but that's gonna be over half, so I'm taking it as a win. So I need to sit down and I need to edit a chapter today if I want to start watching this and uh, let's hope that that works out. It's Wednesday, January 6th, and I'm already behind. So I had great plans of getting all of this writing done. I'm supposed to be doing a chapter a day and I'm doing my Sabrina challenge. So that way I'm not slacking off. I'm not allowing myself to watch an episode of Sabrina until I finish a chapter and vice versa. But it's been a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. I started back to work again on Monday and I'm a CPA during the day and it's quarter end and i am uh, been quite busy. So uh, once I get to the end of my day, I've just, I'm just kind of done. Like as soon as I close my computer and then I, you know, I have dinner, I talk to my family and stuff. And then in the evenings when I need to be writing, I just, I've been so tired or even if I'm not tired, my brain is just kind of jello. I think it's just a matter of having the last couple weeks off vacation uh, for the holidays and then just kind of getting back to it and being busy right away. So I just need to get back into a routine. I know that it's just getting a little bit more difficult to do. And I think part of that is, is I didn't really account for that in my time. And I do plan my weeks out. I gave myself a break on Wednesday, so technically on Wednesdays I shouldn't be writing, but because I didn't really write Monday or Tuesday and I didn't get as much done on the weekend as I'd planned, I am actually going to work tonight and then hopefully I can keep up this momentum and work Thursday, Friday, and at least be only a couple of chapters behind when it comes to the weekend. The other thing I've learned over my process is to make sure that I am not planning a lot of things to do on the weekend. So this is basically for like four reasons. The first one is that something always comes up. Every time I plan a ton of stuff to do on the weekend, I'll have like a flat tire and then need to spend the entire afternoon trying to find a, like somebody to fix it or something happens or I have to deal with the kids or whatever. Every time it never works out. Uh, the second reason I don't plan as much on the weekend is it gives me the opportunity to catch up. So if I get in a situation like this where I'm a few chapters behind, I don't really have anything planned for this weekend at this point. So I technically could probably catch up and then put me in a good place to start next week. The other reason that I plan less on the weekends 
it's sometimes that I just really, I want a break. Like if I actually worked consistently all the way through the week, then at least this gives me a chance to kind of like rejuvenate and uh, get a little bit of a break at the end of the week if I'm working and then writing at night. And then the fourth reason is it gives me a chance to get ahead. So if I am really, really pushing to try to get a project done, it gives me the opportunity to get ahead. Plus, sometimes it's just nice to be done early. So if I finish a project early, I might be able to re release it early or I might be able to you know, just take a bit of a break after the release of the book before I start a new project. But I've had a pretty good day. I'm in a pretty good headspace. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna get some of this chapter stuff done. I did do some work yesterday, but it was really light. I basically went through the chapter that I was editing and left notes in the parenthesis. Okay, this needs to be expanded. Okay, I don't know who's speaking here. Okay, this, 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 this. So I kind of like made a list of all the edits that I need to make. Now I just have to go back in and do the pros that goes along with it. So I'm hoping that that's going to give me some good momentum to get this done because I really want to watch the next episode of Sabrina. Uh, I have watched a couple episodes so far and now I'm kind of hooked and it's really, really frustrating because I'm seeing all the wrap ups and this is what the finale meant all showing up on my YouTube and I can't watch those because I don't want to be spoiled on anything. However, the other thing that's got me into good spirits is I finally received my Secret Santa gift. Yes, I know it's January 6th, but me and some of my writer friends, we do a Secret Santa every year. It's the third year, maybe fourth year we've done this. And uh, she sent my gift like at the beginning of November and it showed up in Toronto about the 16th of December. And then it just had like no activity at all for like forever. And then when we got into January, it started moving again and it finally, finally showed up. I'm gonna show you what she got me for Christmas and I'm so excited about it. So here we go. This is my fabulous Secret Santa gift. It wasn't in the frame. I kind of got something that matched my office a little bit, but I'm really looking forward to getting like a cool, like gothic resin type of frame for this. But if you don't know who that is, that's Sabrina and Salem. So it ties right into my Sabrina challenge that I'm doing right now and totally means she gets me. And then the other piece was this Starbucks cup here. And this is a supernatural Starbucks cup. So saving people hunting things. And we've got all the characters and stuff. The thing I love is like the uh, wood grain carvings for Dean and Sam as well, because obviously if you watch the show, they've carved that into the table in the bunker. So those were my gifts from my secret Santa and I couldn't be more excited about it. So that's it for now. I'm going to try to jump back into this chapter and get some more work happening, but I will talk to you guys soon. So everyone, it is Saturday, January 9th. It's kind of early in the morning right now. So I'm going to try and keep my voice down for my neighbors, but we had some beautiful hoarfrost happening on our trees. You can kind of see them back there. So I'm going to take my books out for a little bit of a photo shoot this morning. I always like to keep just some extra stock photos for that. They're great for Instagram. They're great for maybe putting teasers on them. Something like this is really good because it's a pretty plain background, but it's still really nice. So I can put little teasers over top. I can use them on my Instagram when I don't know what I have anything else to say or on my Facebook. I can also use them in my newsletters as well because if I'm promoting the same book all the time, then um, it kind of gets boring just putting the cover up every time. So I can change it up a little bit and put a little bit more fun picture of my of my book so I'm going to be using three books in this photo shoot today so we are going to do Wicked Descent because it takes place in the winter time so that's always a good one Keeper of Shadows just because it's the new one so it makes sense and I'll probably be promoting that the most lately and Christmas Wishes and New Year's Kisses just because we obviously with the Christmas theme it makes sense with snow and we do have a promotion coming up for it in February so it's going to be nice to have some promo shots for that one as well. I'm still behind on my writing but I am getting there so I'm hoping that after I do a little bit of this photo shoot that I'll be able to go in and get some words edited and rewritten on this book that I'm working on so wish me luck. It's me, Scarlett. It is January 16th and I am chilling out in my office to get some work done. I started out today maybe having a little bit of fun. I did some pictures for Instagram. So if we want to take a look at my floor right now, it's kind of a mess. As I have like a ton of props set up to do like a Kellen and Abby Keeper of Shadows shot. 
but obviously the behind looks a little bit more messy than you would think. Okay, so we had to change venue a bit because my puppy needed to go outside, but um, basically what I wanted to tell you guys is that I'm still behind, but I'm behind for a good reason. So I decided to take a little bit of a break because I'm re- outlining, rejigging things. So the reason this came up is I just kind of had this epiphany that things weren't working, things weren't working. And then I thought I had it, but I was happier with it, but it just wasn't totally like, mm, like that's it. And then the other day I was driving and then this idea came into my head and then things started happening and all of these chapters just started coming together. So I realized what I was missing. And fact of the matter is it's stuff that I kind of knew was missing all along. I just really didn't want to do the heavy lifting. It's not like I didn't want to do it. It's just, I knew it was going to change things a lot. And uh, you know, everything seemed to be working in my head. So why would you make such a major change? Well, Sometimes you just got to trust your gut because now I'm going back and I'm refixing up all those chapters, rejigging things, and making it so much better. But I am so much happier with the way this book is going. However, I have created myself a whole lot more work. So I may not actually hit my goal of finishing it by the end of January, but maybe writing with a little bit of passion is going to kick my butt a little bit more than writing with fear. So hopefully this is gonna work out and I will give you guys an update as things get going, but I am rejigging, replotting, re-outlining. So that's going to take a little bit of time that I had expected to be writing. So I will keep you guys updated, but I am feeling energized and things are going well. So hopefully you are doing well with whatever you're doing, plotting, taking a break, writing, whatever that is, but I will check in with you soon. Hey everyone, it is January 22nd and I'm actually just finishing up my regular work day because if you haven't noticed before, I do work full time and then some sometimes I'm at a regular day job. So I'm not a full time writer and sometimes that takes me away from writing, which it has a lot this week. I had to do some overtime with work, plus I had some personal accounting things that I needed to do as well as some other just household stuff. So it kind of took me away from my writing. I've kind of settled into the fact that I know this book probably isn't gonna be finished for the end of January and I'm okay with that. I built in a little bit of buffer time in February just in case. I don't think that's gonna be enough just because of the changes that I know I made in, I guess it's been a week ago now that I decided to make. So I know that those are going to impact the story going forward and then it's gonna take me a little bit more time because I'm gonna to have to rewrite sections I wasn't planning on rewriting. But I feel like it's gonna make it a better story so I think it's a positive thing. Also, um, our internet went down this week so we had to have a contractor come in to deal with the internet and get that back up and running. Unfortunately, all the internet is in my office. So if you can see, I don't know if you can tell, behind me there's a huge mess of stuff just all over the place. My office is a disaster. And so I'm gonna have to clean that up. And when I'm doing that, I wanna try and rearrange things a little bit. I got some really funky pillows that I can add into my office I'm really excited about. And I also, in the mail the other day, I got these really cool, like, a complete mess right now um, star lights that just kind of twinkle and stuff that I wanted to add to my office because I haven't really done an office tour or anything before but I have this like really cool dark dark navy ish kind of blue color for most of the walls in the office and uh funny thing it's actually called inked which was really cool and then I do kind of white creamish accents on top of that so I think these stars are going to look really really cute however they're a lot longer than I thought they were going to be because I was just going to put it in front of my desk but uh it looks like they might have to go like around a window or something because it is a lot longer than I anticipated but that's a happy surprise. So I will be dealing with my mess so I can kind of get back to everything right now. Having that mess there is just kind of stressing me out and I want to get some of that stuff put away and just get my office back to being my office. And because it is the end of a work week and I don't think I'm gonna have anything that's gonna carry over into the weekend, I'm going to be able to shut my computer down and all of the work work stuff because I'm still working from home because of COVID restrictions and um, get kind of my office back for the weekend. I am going to be working on a collaboration project that I can't really talk about just yet. It needs to be done for Monday. So I did not plan that into my plan at the beginning of January. It was something that just came up. So that has taken some time away from my writing. However, tonight my focus is to work on the chapters that I have and just focus on my writing. Tomorrow, which is gonna be Saturday, I need to film some videos for my YouTube channel because I received my author 
2021 planner that I ordered. It's like this huge, huge planner, um, but it encompasses so many different things. So I'm going to be doing a video on this, kind of an unboxing and a little bit of a review on, you know, this planner and my thoughts for it, what I plan to use it for, and uh, detailing some of the features that are there as well. So look for that coming up, um, as well as some really great videos that I have planned already. So hopefully it's gonna be some really great content coming from the end of January and into February. So I am going to start working on this mess. Hopefully it's going to be nice and pretty afterwards, and then I can get to work on these chapters tonight. So here goes. Hello everyone, it is January 29th, Friday at last. Um, it's actually been a very short, long week for me. I didn't get as much writing done as I had hoped because my dog actually went in for surgery on Monday and he needed a little bit more care and attention than I had anticipated. Plus then I ended up getting really sick. Not like the pandemic kind of sick, but just a couple of days where I just was not feeling very well and ended up doing a lot more reading than I did of writing. But I did do a few things during the week. However, it was very sporadic just here and there whenever I had a chance. So now I finally finished my work week. I'm very excited about that. And I think I'm going to cut this vlog off on January 29th. I know there's two more days left in the month, but the fact is I'm planning to spend the entire weekend writing. So I don't know how many time lapses you guys can handle to watch of just me typing away. So I am actually just going to cut it and tell you that I worked really, really hard. Unfortunately, this does give me a little bit of an out in case I try to cheat. But if I come back in February with a vlog and tell you about how things are going, then obviously if I did not put the work in this weekend, you guys are gonna know pretty darn fast. So I am going to work my butt off all of this weekend. I'm hoping to get some words in tonight, tomorrow, on Sunday, so that I can start February just raring to go with this manuscript. I had hoped to finish it, but as you've, if you've gotten this far in the video, you already know that this was not something that was gonna happen for me because I didn't end up making way more changes than I expected and I just did not have the time to finish it. So even if I was working round the clock, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it with my day job and you know, eating, sleeping, breathing and all of those kinds of things that I like to do. So. I'm really hoping to get it finished in February. I'm hoping to get it up for pre-order by the end of the month. And uh, we're kind of gonna see how that goes, but I think that there's a really good chance that I can get that done as I do have a lot of forward momentum now. And hopefully if this weekend goes really well, I'm going to have a lot of words in too. So please let me know if you're enjoying these vlogs. This is the first time I've ever really done a, a vlog over a period of time. So if this is something you'd like to see on a regular basis, just let me know. If you'd like them a little bit shorter rather than a full month at a time, let me know that as well in the comments. And I'll def definitely take those into consideration when I'm figuring out my February content. One of the things I also wanted to mention is I did say before I was working on a collaboration project that I wasn't really allowed to talk about. Well, I can talk about it now. I recently wrote an article about the video based technology and how things have changed and how that affects authors and finding readers. So if you are interested in knowing more about video based apps such as TikTok or Instagram Reels, stuff like that, as well as how live streams and stuff can impact finding readers and how you can use them to your advantage as an author, then I'm going to leave a link to my article down below. It is in conjunction with BeLive and BeLive is a streaming platform similar to StreamYard. A lot of people have seen around here, but BeLive is really, really great and it has a lot of similar but very different features as well. So if you did want to check that out, I am going to leave the link for BeLive below as well because it does give you a lot of other options than just the standard one that a lot of people use here on YouTube. So like I said, it's been a busy month. I've been up to a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, I did not finish my book like I'd anticipated, but February is another month and we are going to start fresh. The other thing I'm probably gonna do this weekend is I'm going to adjust my bulletin board that's over there, change out the pictures a little bit, make it a little bit more Valentine's Day, and uh, hopefully just get a little bit more inspired. My office is clean, I'm ready to go. And whatever you're working on or whatever you're reading, I hope it's going really, really well for you. Enjoy the last weekend of January as we start getting closer and closer to spring already. It's insane. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week.